Hello students, today in this lecture, we will learn a lot of things about seed science and technology. Uh, I have covered everything in this A4 sheet of paper and I will let you know each and every point of seed science. So let's begin. What is NSC? NSC is National Seed Corporation which was established in 1963. What is SFCI? That is State Farm Corporation of India and it was established in 1969. What is MSCS? Minimum Sales Certification Standard that is in 1971. NSP that is National Sales Project in 1976. ISTA, ISTA that is International Sales Testing Association that was established in 1924 in Norway to promote uniformity in seed testing methods to maintain a purity assessment of seed quality parameters throughout the world. Then ODV, what is ODV? That is other distinguished variety. SRR, seed replacement rate. GDP, that is gross domestic product, you know. CSCB, Central Seed Certification Board. CSTL, Central and State Seed Testing Laboratories. SSCA, State Seed Certification Agency. SSTL, State Seed Certification seed testing laboratory nsdp new state agriculture policy that was enforced in 2008 then what is seed invigoration technique or seed invigoration treatment that is important in seed vigor by any post harvest treatment resulting in improved germina germinability greater storability and better field performance from the corresponding untreated seed what is seed in in invigoration treatment after we harvest that seed, if we are doing that invigoration treatment, we can improve its germinability, we can improve its storage, we can improve its field performance than a non-invigorated seed. So what are the treatments we, we, we are applying? So there are uh, mainly two kinds of treatment. One is mere storage treatment, that is wet treatment. Another is pre-storage treatment, that is dry treatment. Uh, in mere storage treatment, we have soaking drying, dipping drying, then spraying drying, moisture equilibrium drying, then moist sand conditioning drying and in pre-storage treatment there are dry permanent treatment or solvent infusion methods, there are vapor treatments, there are dry dressing of seeds with chemical using inert material. So these were the seed invigoration technique. Then what is seed dormancy? Do you know what seed dormancy is? Seed dormancy is the failure or delayed germination of a mature and viable seed under condition of favorable for germination. Whenever the condition is favorable for germination, uh, the mature seed is failure to germinate in that particular condition. The condition is suitable there, but the mature seed is failure to germinate. That is seed, due to seed dormancy. Uh, what are the merits of seed dormancy? It prevents pre-harvest sprouting. It remains viable for longer time survive adverse climate then provide additional time for seed dispersal right these are the merits of seed dormancy then what are the demerits it cannot be immediately used for sowing then problems for planting breeders advancing pedigree times in off season off season then difficulty in germination potential then calculation of dormant sample seed these are the demerits the classification of uh, like dormant seeds one is primary or organic dormancy another is secondary or induced dormancy another classification is exogenous dormancy that is physical mechanical and chemical dormancy another is endogenous dormancy which is from within that is endogenous dormancy that is morphological and physiological dormancy another is combined dormancy right so what are the mechanism like some barrier of seed coat and permeability changes then presence of inhibitors selectivity role of hormones then active versus inactive forms of phytochromes then shift in oxidative pathways molecular genetic control these are some of the factors which are affecting dormancy actually then measures of dormancy period of dormancy that is number of days taken from the day to harvest to achieve full germinability that is g100 assigned with g100 then there is intensity of dormancy Percentage of non-germination at the time of harvest, that is intensity of dormancy. Then dormancy breaking, how we can break that dormancy, that is 
uh, we can or do scarification, then stratification, high temperature treatment, alternate temperature treatment, washing or uh, maybe dry storage or maybe to any chemicals, right? So these are all about seed dormancy. So students, we learned about seed invigoration treatment. We learned about seed dormancy. So what is seed vigor and its assessment? Seed vigor is the sum of properties which determine the potential level of activity and performance of a seed or seedler during germination and seedling performance. These are the properties which determine the potential level of activity and performances of a seed or seed lot during germination and seedling performance right a good vigor test should be for the properties for the characteristics should be reproducible should be theoretical sound should be easy to perform should be well correlated with field emergence so there are different type of test vigor test one is performance based test another is biochemical test another is stress test okay so uh, within performance based test there are rate of germination uh, first count fourth day count in wheat maize or fifth day count in paddy then speed of germination daily germination count is there uh, that is the sum of radical emergence uh, upon days from sowing then there is another seedling growth index or seed vigor index that is germination percentage into seedling length in centimeter then biochemical test that is electrical conductivity test another is tetrazoleum test another is gada test then there is stress test one is aging test that is according uh, to aging then controlled deterioration then the low temperature stress that is cold test of corn or cool test then there is mechanical stress test that is hilt knot test piercing test then uh, what is seed health Seed health refers to presence or absence of pathogens and other microorganisms with seed and any abnormalities of seed due to deficiency of trace element. So uh, for the importance of seed pathogens or kinds of seed borne pathogens, you have to learn them from the textbook also. Then uh, what is seed quality? Higher quality refers to seed possessing high genetical purity, high germination percentage, minimum other crop seed. Uh, weed seeds inert material and free from diseases a component of quality seeds are genetic quality physical quality physiological quality and health quality then seed germination steps a uh, first when we sow the seed it imbibe the water that is present in soil then hydration and activation of different biomolecules like carbohydrate protein and lipid nucleic acid they hydrolyzed and then cell division and cell expansion occurs then establishment of seedling occurs uh, what are the factors one is seed maturity oxygen light water and temperature then what are the types of germination that is epigeal germination and, and hypogeal germination uh, then both epigeal and hypogeal germination is found in groundnut depend on uh, its depth of planting then uh, seed legislations in india what are the like laws and acts seed act that is that was established in 29th december 1966 and throughout world uh, it was enforced in 2nd october 1969 features its applicability sanction legislation regulation regulation of legislation statutory bodies and agencies central seed committee central uh, seed certification board central seed testing laboratories sstl uh, appellate authorities recognition of uh, state seed corporation agencies for foreign countries seed law enforcement done by seed inspectors then seed control order in 1983 license uh, is main objective of seed control order and seed bill uh, was enforced in 2004 regulation of varieties rec uh, registration seed testing laboratories export and import nurseries etc then protection of plant varieties and farmers right act uh, during 2001 what is seed technology and what is its importance? Seed technology includes development of superior crop plants, their evaluation and release, seed production, processing, storage, testing, classification, quality control, marketing, distribution, research, based on modern botanical and agricultural sciences. Role of seed technology by Frischer in 1975, quality seed, a carrier of new technology, basic tool for secured food supply, then the principal means to secure crop yield is less favorable areas 
medium for rapid rehabilitation of agriculture in case of natural disaster then what are the goals that is rapid multiplication timely supply assured high quality of seed uh, these are some of the importance of quality seed then uh, seed deterioration that is harrington rule one percent decrease in relative humidity and 10 degree fahrenheit decrease in uh, temperature doubles the storage life so there are orthodox seed and recalcitrant seed i have discussed earlier and development and release of crop varieties and hybrids we are creating the variations then selection we are selecting the crops then evaluation then multiplication and distribution these are the steps of uh, release of uh, varieties first uh, in evaluation there is station trial there is multi location trial where initial varietal trial and advanced varietal trials are there then agronomic trial then national level trial then adaptive research then mini kit trials right so there are different types of seeds first one is nuclear seed then breeder seed then foundation seed then certified seed uh, the purity of breeder seed is 100 percent the uh, level color is golden yellow then the tag size is 12 cm into 6 cm that is produced by qualitative plant breeders then foundation seed is the progeny of uh, breeder seed the purity percentage of foundation seed is 99 percent the level color is white then the tag size is 15 cm into 7.5 cm it is produced by qualitative plant breeders or seed certification agencies then uh, certified seed the purity percentage is 90 percent 98 percent or 95 percent should be minimum the level color is azure blue then the tag size is 15 cm into 7.5 cm okay certified seed is not eligible for further seed production so there is truthful level seed also no certification needed for this labeling must be opal green and the tag size is 15 cm into 10 cm then uh, sampling seed sampling when we are uh, sending seeds to assess the quality or to certif certification for certification there is sampling uh, is needed what is a lot lot is a specified quantity of seed physically identifiable in respect to which an international analysis certificate may be issued there are primary samples which a small portion taken from one portion of seed lot then composite sample the sample formed by combining all the primary samples submitted samples reduced composite sample that submitted to testing stations then there are working samples reduced sample taken from one submitted sample on which one of quality test is made in the laboratory then principles of a seed lot that is heterogeneity size level and seedling certification that is primarily uh, the orange seed lot certification that is sampling and testing is done in that country where the seed lot is located that is orange seed lot certification then green seed lot certification testing by an authorized uh, station in other country than where the seed lot is present then blue seed lot certification that is issued non officially that is refers only to quality of sample released mark and seal of lot omitted what is dockage that dockage is other crop seed plus weed seed that is known as dockage then purity analysis purity is of two type that is physical analyt or analytical another is genetical or varietal physical uh, that is routine test then uh, for genetical we have special tests then a uh, method of purity test we have sieve and different mesh automatic sieve seeker seed blower then purity work board then magnifier analytical balance petri dish four sieve scalpels we need all these things then procedure that is first sieving then blowing then final separation then weighing then calculation then re reporting the result so there are some calculation of different uh, components that is one is pure seed percentage that is quantity of pure seed upon total quantity of sample into 100 one is inert matter percentage that is quantity of inert matter upon total quantity of sample into 100 another is number of odv per kg number of weed seed plus other crop seed upon weight of sample into 1000 so students these are some of the technology technical terms and all uh, on seed science and technology so if you have any doubt then uh, you can ask uh, so this much for today see you tomorrow